Hey guys, welcome back to another video here, a packaging the mail unboxing uh, for a secret uh, secret Santa gift exchange that uh, Leo the Funny Nerd organized between a group of friends. Um, I've been invited to do this uh, a couple years uh, ago, uh, every year, you know, either Leo or the another gaming podcast people, they, they do gift exchange, exchanges, but I never... I never, part, uh, you know, took part in any of the uh, gifts exchanges until uh, this year. I figured I I participate and uh, uh, have a little fun here with interacting with uh, friends here on YouTube. And this particular package was received uh, from Aaron, uh, um, AKA uh, 22 2277, I believe is his uh, full uh, YouTube username. Unfortunately, he doesn't do videos uh, uh, anymore. Uh, he does have a couple of videos, but he's a very good friend of ours. Uh, we do play a lot of online games uh, every now and then, and uh, we keep in touch uh, through Facebook with him. Uh, and he's a very interesting guy. Uh, knows a lot about a, a lot about video games, and he's always a fun uh, time talking to uh, our friend Twenty Two. So, uh, I, I, you know, I'm assuming his name is on the package. So I'm assuming it's uh, he was my secret Santa, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Uh, the way we uh, Leo set it up is uh, he requested for us or everybody participating to have an Amazon wish list, and I uh, I apologize in advance because my wish list was very limited uh, because I do have a separate Amazon wish list for my wife, and what she does is you know throughout the year she picks a couple a couple of games out of that list for gifts for me, uh, whether it's Christmas and an anniversary or birthday and. And, and things like that. So I was trying to make up a list that did not have any of the, uh, you know, uh, items in her list. So it was kind of hard to come up uh, with uh, a, a a brand new list that did not have any of, any of those items. But without further ado, we have the uh, breakfast uh, breakfast uh, stout here, founders. And uh, I already took the liberty, opened the package, and uh, let's see let's see what the contents are. So, um, just cover the address there. We have a pretty heavy bag with uh, our friend here, Mario. And this is a Nintendo New York bag, which is uh, pretty cool. This is my second bag. Uh, if you guys remember, Leo the Funny Nerd had a, um, a uh, gift for me, like a surprise gift a couple of years ago and uh, he gave me a bag, so this is pretty cool. And uh, let me see if there's any notes. Sometimes people like to write notes and, and things like that. I don't think there's any. Um, so uh, right off the bat, there's <laughs> there's a pretty cool, um, I guess, uh, clean protector, or not, not protector, but uh, a clean cloth uh, for the Nintendo Switch. This is pretty cool, very handy actually, because, you know, the Nintendo Switch, uh, you know, it's a tablet-like uh, device, so <laughs> uh, thanks, uh, Mr. Twenty Two here for the uh, cloth. I will definitely be using this. Um, and then uh, we have something that feels like it could be a book. And uh, he took the time to uh, actually uh, uh, gift wrap the, uh, you know, the uh, the gifts. So uh, props to you, man. Uh, the, the way I did it, I did not wrap any of my gifts. I just threw them in the box. So. Um, Hopefully whoever gets them uh, doesn't mind. And uh, let's see. Oh, nice. Huh. Very interesting. This is really cool. Castlevania. Hardcore Gaming 101. And I believe... Uh, who was... I, I don't know if it was Alex Return to Mother Base or maybe Dustin Christ that got this book in the past and they were raving about how good this game is. And this is actually a perfect um, gift because I am not the most well-versed in the Castlevania series and this year when I got the uh, Super Nintendo Classic, I was actually um, in the process of exploring or playing that game. I got sidetracked obviously, but it's on my to-do list to play uh, the Super Castlevania on the Super Nintendo and get a little bit more exposed to the Castlevania series. So this is a very, very good starting point and uh, I believe it has... It has a retro retrospective contain of containing Castlevania, Castlevania 2, 3, 4, Chronicles, Dragular X for the PC Engine. And uh, it has, wow, a lot of information. This is down, uh, right down my alley because you guys know I, I pick up a lot of uh, books, um, you know, gaming related books. 
So I will definitely be doing a book overview on this and it has so much information and this is the type of book that I actually enjoy more, uh, more than others because it has information as, as well as some art and pictures so it's a pretty well-rounded package so this is amazing. Thank you so much uh, Mr. 22. I will be uh, definitely uh, reading this as I uh, get a little bit more acquainted with the Castlevania series so fantastic gift. I really appreciate that. And uh, we have another, uh, feels like it's another book, so let's check it out. <laughs> I, I believe this was on my wish list, and uh, this will come in very handy. Uh, and we're talking about the Super Mario Odyssey strategy guide. Um, I put this on my um, wish list because at one point I'm going to go for all the uh, uh, moons in the game, and... Uh, um, obviously, I'm gonna try and get them by myself, you know, without too much help. But um, it's kind of like a tradition for me. Um, Super Mario 64, which is a game that I love. Um, I actually have the strategy guide for that game. So for games that I really, really like, even though I don't use the guides uh, too much, I like having I like having the strategy guides, and uh, this is definitely a, uh, something that I wanted on my uh, on my Christmas uh, wish list, and. Uh, uh, very much appreciated. Um, uh, I will definitely be using this and it's pretty cool because it also comes with a free e-guide. You know, you can put the guide on your phone or your tablet and whatnot and access it at anywhere at any time. So this is really cool. Thank you so much. Um, and I need to get back to Mario Odyssey. Um, I, I, I believe I have like close to 400 moves, but I need to get back to that game. Sipping through the uh, stout here, we have, I believe, two more gifts. Uh, here we have another one, wrapped in a very nice paper. Um, let's see. It's a PS4 game. Oh, okay. This is the Talos Principle, which is a portal type, uh, portal like type of game <laughs> uh, that is uh, supposed to be very, uh, it's, it's, it's really good and uh, it's similar to portal from what I understand and uh, it's one of those games that it has a limited, um, what do you say, it's kind of like one of those rare type of games that don't have a, uh, a, a broad um, uh, run release if you will. So. Uh, Pretty cool to have this, and uh, uh, yeah, thank you so much for uh, for giving me uh, giving me this, and uh, yeah, uh, excellent reviews, nine out of ten and whatnot. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for providing me with this game, and uh, we have one more, one more again, <laughs> gift wrap, and uh, looks like it's a PlayStation Four game as well. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I think I had this on my list, but maybe not. Um, I don't think I had this on my list, actually. So, I, I can't even remember what I put on my list, to be honest. And this is perfect, actually. This is the uh, Danganronpa 1 and 2 Reloaded, um, which are the, I believe, the first two games that came out on the PlayStation Vita, released, uh, like, remastered on the PlayStation 4. And this is actually a... <laughs> A much needed uh, game in my, in my collection because I do have Danganronpa 1 on the PlayStation Vita but, but I don't have 2 and it, and 2 was one of those games that was on my uh, wife's Amazon you know wish list and uh, she never she is up up until this day she hasn't bought it yet and it turns out that that game went up in price um, you know by a lot because it's you know it's not you know there's there are no prints anymore or whatever of that game so 2 on the Vita it's kind of hard to buy and get that now but this right here has both one and two, and I haven't played one yet. So, and I'm not a huge handheld gamer, so I might as well just throw this in and play both one and two on my TV, and just have that continuity, um, you know, playing playing them on the PlayStation Four. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. This will be a very useful uh, game to have because I also I also own the one that that it's a shooting game. I forgot the uh, the title of it. I have it I have it there on my Vita. Uh, collection. Uh, it's not Danganronpa 3, but they released one where it's actually a shooting game. 
Um, so this is very much appreciated. Uh, thanks a lot. And uh, just to recap, we have the Talos Principle, Dangarumpa, 1 and 2 Reloaded, and uh, the Super Mario Odyssey Guide, which will be come in very handy. The World Nintendo Bag, of course. And this is actually, uh, to me, the highlight here. Uh, this is the one that I, I think I'll be enjoying the most. Even though it's not a game, I'm pretty excited to delve into the Castlevania series. So, um, yeah, thank you so much for this. And last but not least, we have the uh, uh, cloth <laughs> for the uh, uh, Nintendo Switch. Uh, so thank you so much, I'm, I'm Aaron, or uh, Mr. 222277. Uh, make sure you guys check out the uh, the channels for uh, uh, Leo, um, uh, you know, the funny nerd. Uh, he has already two videos up for the um, his Secret Santa and the, the, the items that he sends to uh, DMP, Devil May Pi. He was the... Uh, uh, they got each other on the gift exchange so uh, yeah make sure you check those videos out and uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, ex uh, if you excuse me I'll go and play my games and uh, thank you so much again for your for the gifts Aaron they're, they're fantastic and uh, I will catch up with you guys later take it easy